Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be talking about the driver and we're going to talk about the easiest way to draw the driver. Now, I think this is a really interesting, slightly different perspective of how to view things. And the, what's prompted this video is a recent student of mine. Now, a student of mine has been making progress on his technique, but sometimes has difficulty translating that always to the golf course. So I'm trying to balance that in his practice by working on technique that he can work on either at the range or hitting balls into a net. But what you've also got to do is you've got to sometimes obviously practice working on the visual cues of where you're aiming so that you can improve your technique as well. And this video will really help this come to fruition for lots of you. So the student of mine, what he does is he uses the whole 19 application and that way, because he uses the whole 19 application, I can see his statistics from behind the scenes, etc. Now the whole 19 application is a free application that I'd suggest that you, you download. A lot of golfers use it as a GPS. So you can navigate your way around the golf course. You know how far it is to hazard. You know the distance that you've got remaining in towards a green. You know your way around. It's perfect for that. But what you can also do is you can also pay a small fee to record your statistics. Now, what I try and suggest to my students is, look, record some statistics. You don't have to go mega into it. OK, not like where was the wind direction on the shot and all the rest of it. It's too much for most golfers. But you can record some basic statistics. And the reason why I suggest it is because you'll become more self-reflective of your own game. So it's absolutely nothing to record some basic things as you're going around the course. And that's exactly what the student did. Now, because he was recording his statistics as he was going around, the thing that he started to notice was that he was trying to play this draw shot, but he was really struggling whenever the trouble was on the right hand side and what was happening is every time the trouble was on the right hand side the student would kind of go back to this swinging more shall we say over the top but the problem is, is when you start moving this way you come down too steep the face has to open and you end up putting it more in the trouble because you're trying to swing in the opposite sort of direction so what i'm saying to my student is the same as what i'm saying to you guys there's a couple of things that you're going to learn out of today's video the first one is how to use your head and if you like your eye line position and when you next go to the range, you need to start using some more visual cues, which I'll move you guys around in a moment. First things first, when I started doing this to my student, we're going to do some of the basic things. So we're going to tilt the ball in a certain way. And we're also going to change and mess around with our setup slightly just to promote learning these new skills. And as soon as I did it, because I sort of said to my student, OK, the next time you go down the range, I want you to tilt the ball in the direction where theoretically I want you to swing the club. OK, and also what I want you to do is I want you to exasperate this sort of feeling of more tilt. So you're almost going to feel like your shoulders are quite closed in the set position. Now, when I started to <laughs> emulate this and I was creating this video for my student, my immediate thought went to Mo Norman. Now, Mo Norman is a, a very sort of famous uh, golfer, Canadian golfer, who had lots of success regionally uh, in Canada playing tournaments, but also started to share his sort of knowledge. And he built up this um, reputation of being incredibly accurate. And what he always used to preach in, in his videos was always this sort of feeling of dropping this shoulder down, drop this shoulder down, drop this shoulder down. And he used to talk about this sort of promoting this tilt. And it just reminded me of how this sort of Mo Norman setup position can make drawing driver so, so much easier. So you can see from this perspective. And this is what I was trying to get my student to do. So before we progress to the side and perspective, you're going to tilt the ball to the direction where we're sort of theoretically aiming, you're then going to get set up and you're going to feel like you create enough tilt so that it's almost like your shoulders are going to feel like they're pointing in that direction as well. And then obviously from there, the idea is you're going to do a short swing, try and keep your head back and just work on your arm rotation so you're controlling the face and your club path. Let's have a look from that side on perspective. Okay, so first things first, my endeavour is to get the golf ball finishing towards one of the, dis the yardages in the distance over here. So I can see a 250 yard marker, which I'm going to roughly sort of highlight on the screen here. But what I'm trying to get you, the golfer to do, and I obviously encourage you guys to do as well, is to obviously stop missing over in this direction towards this 50 yard marker here. But the thing that you need to grow in confidence with is to be able to stop that sort of movement from happening, you need to control your club face. But the problem is, is if you don't learn to control your club face to control your starting direction, and you're still dependent very much on your body move, then having this type of motion is only going to continue to encourage the ball to finish off in the direction where we don't want to go. So what I tried to showcase you guys from that sort of face on perspective is the first thing that I want you to do is line the ball up in the direction basically of where we don't want the golf ball to finish. And then what I want you to do is I want you to get set up 
like you normally would. But then I want you to exaggerate this feeling of shoulders being more tilted and see the way that it brings the club back here. So it brings the club behind me like so. Now the idea is that I am going to try and stay in this position as I do a short swing. But obviously if I leave my club face moving in the direction where the line is aiming, it's going to go in that direction. What I want to do is I want to work and get the feeling of closing the face. Now the idea is that you would obviously just do this very slow sort of swings. So can you see the way that started towards my marker, but it started to progressively curve its way back around. And I would suggest to do this. So it's quite common when you've seen probably my videos or other videos where when we talk about irons, we talk about drills and exercises. But it amazes me when I watch golfers down the driving range how nobody ever does the same sort of drills with driver. And that's what I'm trying to say. When you're standing on the tee and there is trouble down that sort of right hand side, you need to kind of practice visually having that so you can have the confidence to keep your head back and work on closing the face and rolling your arms to understand that controls that club face. And that's why I just think this is a really simple drill, something that you can just sort of practice on your own down the range until you start to build up more confidence doing a short swing hitting the draw. And then you can start to progress it from there. So hopefully this video helps. Hopefully it helps you from the perspective of looking at things visually where you're almost creating more of that sort of, if you like, Mo Norman famous tilt. So it feels like you're aiming more that way and then you've just got to work on keeping your head in that position whilst rolling your arms to control the face. And you keep working on that until you feel like you have much better club face control and then you can start advancing it into a longer swing. So yeah, it's a great drill and it's a really easy way to draw the driver. See you soon.